home. Good news, no more detours around Business 40. The popular stretch through downtown Winston-Salem officially reopened today. Expect to see a new look and a new name, Salem Parkway. But there are still some changes you'll have to get used to for your commute this week. The wait is over. And people uh, actually use the new road for the first time. There are going to be a lot of changes. The 14-month shutdown of Business 40 forced an estimated 80,000 daily commuters to detour around this 1.2-mile stretch through downtown Winston-Salem. But things are different. First of all, of course, the, uh, the Broad Street ramps, they're taken out permanently. They will not come back in there. Uh, the, uh, the Liberty Street ramps that were right behind us, uh, when, with Old Business 40. Those will no longer be there. The main access into and out of the downtown area and the area south is going to be the new ramps that we built for Cherry and Marshall Street. The last time we met, Pat, I mean, <clears throat> I was looking at renderings and now to see them come to fruition. Well, <laughs> you think about the bridge that we're on right now, Liberty Street. Remember, Liberty went under Business 40 before. Right. And we completely switched that. And Business 40 now, go, we lowered it over 20 feet in this location and put Liberty on top. On top of that, the speed limit is slated to change. Raise it from 45 to 55. We want to do a final study just to make sure that we're good to do that. There's still work to do on the tunnel outside of BB&T Ballpark, the strollway, and final touches on pedestrian bridges for this project that's caught the attention of other big cities. Charlotte and Raleigh, they're looking at us at what we've done with this project. Greensboro, we showed that with the proper amount of planning, conversation, and community input, you could actually close a major facility for a short period of time and get the community support to do a project like this. So there are other areas of the state that are looking at this. And although the roadway is now open, you'll still want to give yourself some extra time because as you just heard, some of the exits and ramps that you're used to have changed. The $99.2 million project is ahead of schedule and there are still some areas to complete around Salem Parkway, which should be finished by the summer.